What's up guys, it's Brad from The Architect here. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to install and use the cable cam cinematic movement rig for Blender. There has been some confusion on how to install and use this plugin, so I thought I'd make this video to clear up any issues that you might be having. Anyways guys, let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. This is uh, Blender 2.91.2, and this is where we will install cable cam. The current version on Blender Market works for both Blender 2.8 and Blender 2.9, so if you're using the latest versions of Blender, it should work very well. But uh, anyways, to install cable cam, all we will do is uh, once you download the uh, zip file from Blender Market, you'll just go to edit, preferences, and then make sure that add-ons is selected here on the window. And then we'll just go to install. And uh, now we can find that zip file that you downloaded for cable cam. I have it here under a cable cam folder and I'll just click on cable cam 2.8 install and then click on install add-on. And now as you can see here, cable cam should pop up here so you can enable it with the checkbox. And if it doesn't pop up, then uh, simply search in the search bar here, cable cam. And as you can see, it pops up and just make sure that checkbox is selected. All right, so now that cable cam is enabled, go ahead and close this window. Now let's import a cable cam into our scene here. So I'll just go to the right sidebar here. And as you can see here, we have our cable cam panel and it's already selected here. And the tools for cable cam are very simple. This first button here is to import your cable cam to your scene. And the second one here is to add a cable which your cable cam can follow. So uh, let's first go ahead and just import our cable cam. It will uh, enter the center of our scene here. And uh, the way you control the cable cam cinematic movement rig is very simple. It's designed to work on two main controls. The main control here is our cable cam base. So you'll just select the cable cam base here and now you can just drag it around and uh, animate this however you'd like. And the second control is the pan and tilt control. And this little empty here is going to control where your camera looks at any given time. So the reason we made it this way is so you can create those sweeping cinematic camera moves and drastically move the base of your camera while it always looks in one way. Anyways, to give an example on how we can use this, I'll go ahead and open up a, uh, another window here and I'll go to view, viewpoint camera. And now uh, this is a nice way to work whenever you're working in Blender. I often like to have one window for viewing through my camera lens and then the second window to just view my general workspace. Let's just create, go ahead and create a short animation here. I'll select all of our cable cam here and just kind of put it off to the side here for a second. And uh, I'll go ahead and press shift A. I'll add a, a monkey to our scene, I'll scale her up a little bit. And uh, we'll just create a nice little uh, swooping camera move around Suzanne here. So I'll select our camera pan and tilt control here and we'll just place it right on Suzanne's head here. Something like this maybe. And as you can see on the right side, our camera view is showing our adjustments. And uh, now we can select our uh, cable cam base and we'll just create a uh, short little animation here. We'll start on frame one, drag our cable cam base back here a little bit and uh, I'll press I at a location keyframe. And now we'll go to say frame 100, so four seconds later. And I'll just move this maybe in front of Suzanne here. And now we'll go ahead and press I again at another location keyframe for our cable cam base. And we'll change the timeline here to one to 100. And now, as you can see here, if we play through our timeline, we get a nice little cinematic camera move wrapping around Suzanne. Very simple and effective, took less than 30 seconds. And obviously also you can animate the pan and tilt control as well to create some more uh, cinematic movement. But uh, this is one way you can use the cable cam cinematic movement rig. I should also note that under the cable cam uh, wireframe in the rig, there's a empty here that uh, you can use to control the axis of your cable cam at any given time. This is more of just an adjustment tool. I wouldn't recommend doing anything crazy with it, but if your horizon is off or something, you can easily make some quick adjustments and uh, animate this one as well. All right, so to finalize this video, I'm going to use the cable cam with the Create Connect Cable tool. So I'll go ahead and just uh, delete our cable cam here for now. And I'll import a new cable cam that's not animated and uh, maybe move Suzanne off to the side here. And to use the Create Connect Cable tool, all you have to do is select your cable cam base and then click on Create Connect Cable. And now as you can see here, the cable cam will snap to uh, the cable in the origin of our scene here. And you can just select the cable here. And now as you can see here, we have a path that we can animate our cable cam along. Let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit. While this path is selected, you can go into edit mode and now we can kind of adjust our path 
to get some kind of uh, interesting curve for our camera to move along. So we'll try something like this just for the sake of the tutorial here. We'll put our uh, cable cam pen and tilt control by Suzanne's face here just for a demonstration. And I'll go to view camera on our right window here. And we'll just animate our cable cam along our curve here. So I'll press G, I'll drag it to one end of the curve. Make sure I'm on uh, frame one, press I, add a location keyframe. And then we'll go to frame 100, grab our cable cam, move it to the other end of our curve, press I again, add a location keyframe. And just for fun, I will select our uh, cable cam camera here and I'll go to the camera tab and maybe change the focal length to, uh, we'll change it to maybe 35. The default camera perspective for cable cam is pretty wide and that's just so you can create those sweeping movements, but of course you can change them like I just did here. Um, and now, as you can see here, when we play through our animation, we have a uh, nice little animation along our curve here. Of course, through Blender, you can also animate your focal length and uh, create some other cool looking results. But uh, that's how you use cable cam inside of Blender. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.